what I was looking for was to create a kind of um, an abstract world, but the world that looked exactly like something, but you couldn't quite put your finger on it. And the original plan was to make a virtual version of the stage, so you could go from stage to virtual stage to yes world, and back out again into the stage. But um, maybe that, maybe another time we'll do that. This time it's uh, what you see is what you get, and it's. I don't know. I'm having a terrific amount of fun. What do you think of when you're listening to the music? I don't think of imagery at all, usually. <laughs> That's not the right thing to say. When I'm painting, um, I use music as a kind of a moderator of mood rather than a visual source. You know, if I'm feeling a bit lazy or tired, music can make me feel get up and get up and go or if I'm too you know wired I can calm myself down with the music but really it's um, I don't look for inspiration that directly in music I get a lot of inspiration from music but I don't as it were turn the pages of the music looking at the pictures I know artists who say they do and I've never figured it out myself so how much input do you get from the band on the covers? You know, it varies. Uh, sometimes I talk to them a lot, and sometimes they say, have you got anything for a cover? And sometimes <laughs> no input at all. Um, it's best when there's a lot, um, but it's usually talk, it's usually words, not music, because um, we're usually talking about the cover before the music is done. A question I always get asked is, hey, where do you get your ideas from? And I remember back in the 70s, people took it for granted that the ideas came out of a bottle or a blotter or whatever. For me, really where the ideas came from was, it wasn't so much where they came from, it's what you do to stop them coming normally. You know, in, in our everyday life, we're busy thinking and struggling, and that's what oppresses the ideas. I think if one can get into a, a, a peaceful state of mind, they, they flow in uninterrupted. It's only when you struggle for them and search for them, in fact, that they hide. So I guess for the question I get asked the most, which is where do you get your ideas from, my answer is they're there. You just have to move out the clutter of thought and they'll come in.